Hi, I'm Peggy Farron with Understand Photography. I'm going to show you how to change the size of a photo without making it blurry for bloggers. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is open the photo that you want to change the size of. So I'm going to find the photo and let's see, I think I shall open this one right here. I'm going to double click to open it and there we go. The next thing you want to do is go to image, resize, image size and you'll get a new window. Make sure that all three of these boxes down here on the bottom are checked and that it says bicubic best for smooth gradients. Okay, so now let's go up. We want our width to be 600 pixels and then it will automatically change the height because we said to constrain the proportions down here. Click OK and you have a smaller picture. Now because it's smaller you lose a little bit of um, resolution so we're going to sharpen it using unsharp mask. I'm going to pull this down a little bit. Now these are the numbers I like 160, 1 1.0 and 3. If you put your um, in the preview box if you left click on your mouse you can see a before and after so that's before it's blurry and then let go and after you can see how it's sharper now. Uh, you can fool around with these settings but if you change the radius or amount too much the picture is going to start looking kind of funny. So these are the numbers that I like. Click OK and then we're going to go to File save as and I change the name whenever I do something to a photo so I'm going to leave it at IMG 2003 but I'm going to type in um, resized resized for blog and click save here we want our file to be 60 to 100 kilobytes so this is too big at the highest quality so we're going to come over here and reduce the quality so that I'm under 100 kilobytes. I'm still at a quality of 8 which is a high quality picture so I am going to have a smaller resized picture but sharpened and it's good for a blog. Thank <laughs> you.